to speak with you. Um, the movie was so impressive. How does it feel for you both to see your story now on the big screen? What do you think, Catherine? Well, how does it feel? How does it feel? It feels, um, in many ways, it feels unreal it, because it was 16 years ago these events happened and it feels almost like maybe it was a different person. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, but it also feels good that the issues are coming out again and hopefully we, you know, there will be more discussions about what happened, why they happened and so on. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been an extraordinary process and it's, it is surreal to see yourself being portrayed on the, on the screen. But I think one of the great strengths of the film is that when you're watching it, you identify so much with this character that's at the centre of everything, Catherine Gunn. You do. And, and <laughs> even I do. You know, So I'm there and I can see there's a version of me on the screen, but still the person that I'm watching is <laughs> Kira Knightley playing Catherine Gunn because it's such an engaging character. So I, I think that's... Uh, that's something that surprised me. And, and how happy are you with the actor who playing yourself? I, I'm very happy. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't have made a better choice myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Matt Smith is, is very different from me. He's a very different kind of person. Um, and so these are not, um, they're not people who are trying to mimic exactly what we do or right. our actions. Yeah. Um, but I think and I hope that... Um, that Matt Smith gets across some of the intensity of, of how you operate as a journalist and the stresses that are involved. I think that comes across quite well. Yeah, it's so well done. Um, do you hope the movie will inspire people in the same situation to be brave enough, enough to act if it's needed? Well, I hope it does uh, cause people to think about what they do every day and when things matter, what, what they would do or could do, um, especially in jobs where there are much higher chances of um, controversial issues. Because I think mentally you should prepare yourself. Would you say so? For the possibility that you might be faced with a difficult decision. Yes, I think decision. I think the in a way the, the 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 film is not there to provide answers. No. It's to it's to raise some very serious issues. Personally, the central issue is what would you do in that situation? I think that that's that remains an open question, and mm. uh, I think everybody watching that film will ask themselves if I saw something of such terrible significance, what would I do? And if you can go back, would you do the same thing again? I would. Um, I don't know if I would have done it differently, for example, <laughs> to take it directly to the journalist. That's what you should have done. That, yeah. that would have made your, his life a lot easier. <laughs> um, yeah. She was not a very good whistleblower. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not a professional Not a professional whistleblower. <laughs> But that gave a certain purity to what she did. You know, she wasn't um, she wasn't someone who who knew what to do, knew lots of journalists, and was going to um, work closely and manage the situation. You know, mm. it was uh, it was uh, it was not a usual kind of journalist whistleblower relationship. And how much does this stay or this step affect your life until today? Well, obviously, it affected my life greatly. Um, I lost, uh, you know, a full-time, very stable job, which potentially I could have kept till retirement. And I know in this day and age, that's very rare. Um, but I've subsequently met so many people who've enriched my life so much and, you know, who've been, who've become so... Um, important to me that you know I wouldn't have it another way yeah I mean it is a defining story I think it's a defining story of our times and it has a continuing relevance it, it's certainly the, the story of my professional career of which I'm the most proud um, and 
I believe that it, it remains a, a, a fable for our times.